It was described as a modern day lynching, a black man running along an American street, spotted by a white father and son who believed he had ill intent. They block his way and open fire. Three shots later, Ahmed Aubrey staggers away and dies on the street. That's okay. Do you have any other weapons or anything? He was on shot you? by just this there. man. Okay. If he would have stopped, this would have That's fine. That's fine. Like I said, just take a breath. You're... 35 year old Travis McMichael talking to police in the moments like, after. Don't, don't get blood all over yourself. Both he and his 65 year old father, former police officer Gregory McMichael, said they were only trying to effect a citizen's arrest and acted in self-defense. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. We, the jury, find the defendant, Greg McMichael, guilty. Today, a jury rejected their claims and those of their neighbor, who also gave chase and filmed the killing. We, the jury, find the defendant, William R. Bryan, guilty. The three decided to hunt Ahmed Arbery down, suspicious that he'd been stealing from a building site. They pursued him, called the police, 911 was the address of emergency. There's a black male running down the street. I don't know what street we're on. Is it? it? Stop! And then took their own actions moments later. Ahmed Arbery was unarmed. Nothing had been taken from the building site, and the court was told the father and son made their decisions based only on skin colour. Mr. Arbery's mother could barely watch or hear the video as it was played to the jury. <laughs> made up of 11 white jurors and one black juror. Today, she relished justice. That she doubted she would get it is a disturbing indictment of American society. To tell you the truth, I never saw this day back in 2020. Mm -hmm. I never thought this day would come. But God is good. Yes, he is. Race and prejudice dominated this case. Even as they were led away, the defendant's lawyers insisted they still honestly believe what they were doing was the right thing. Emma Murphy, News at 10, in the United States.